and happy Sunday. Um, I just finished my workout. It is around 8 a.m. and I am just going to go pick up Steven some coffee and myself some coffee and he is still in bed at home with Bubba's. So my workout is done and last week I vlogged and then I was looking at the footage and I really didn't love it. So I decided that I would reshoot the entire vlog today and bring it to you this weekend because so many of you like vlogs which are uh, awesome because some days I post them and I feel like they're the most boring things on the planet. However, it has been very much requested that I do a vlog so I thought this would be like a catch-up vlog this week. So I thought I'd share where I've been over the last two weeks um, and kind of tell you what's up with that. Um, and why I had taken that time off and also just like give you a little update because as you know I've been on like a very much a health and fitness kick and I have found some things that have really been working for me and I'm happy to say that since Memorial Day I've lost between 38 and 40 pounds. Um, I haven't weighed myself lately but it's somewhere in that ballpark and I'm super super proud. Um, and I'm feeling so stinking good. And I owe it a lot to Orange Theory, but I've also been doing a couple things as far as meal prepping to just make life easier. So yeah, we're gonna catch up, we're gonna chat. I'm also gonna share some things that I've recently been loving and some books that I've been loving. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we get into. But uh, super excited to be vlogging again, holding this camera, and let's go get some coffee because it is needed. And while we're at it, we might as well jam out to Taylor Swift's new song because I've been loving it. So it is like 9.30 now um, and uh, we had breakfast and just kind of laid around and watched the news. Um, my thoughts and prayers to everyone out in Texas um, dealing with the outcomes of Hurricane Harvey um, and it looks like it's not gonna let up for a couple of days as far as the rain and flooding. So all my thoughts and prayers are out to all of you. And I just hope that everyone is safe. And yeah. Um, so this morning, I think we're th going to go for a walk in a little bit and take Bubba's to a park or something. Um, so of course you guys are gonna go with me. And then I'm gonna get back here, get cleaned up and start running some errands. We have to go to Trader Joe's. Um, Target and possibly Sephora um, so yeah and then I also do I have my August favorites already planned but there's like some things that I've been loving like the last couple days weeks um, that I want to share with you all as well so let's go ahead and get this going and then of course we're gonna sit down and chit chat about everything so stay tuned we are about to head off for a walk and yeah um, this hat is from Carbon 38. It is one of my favorites. And these glasses are key sunglasses. They're like a cool marble print. And then lastly, I found these really awesome Adidas shoes. Um, they're from their Pride line. Um, yeah, they're really fun. Um, I am trying to uh, break them in currently. So we just loaded Bubba's up in the car. Steven's throwing his shoes on. And then we are going to head off for a walk. And I don't know what we'll listen to in the car. I wonder. Um, I've literally had the Taylor Swift song on loop, so he's annoyed with it, but it's going to continue. Bubby, you back there? I say hi. Say hi. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible when I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied Stayed over the surface Now
Literally, life is about all of these little moments that might seem so simple on the day to day, but oh, they are everything. So, never a dull moment. Um, I got something in my eye while we were driving and I like ripped out my contact and I still couldn't get it. So I just literally was dumping a bottle of water in my face, um, trying to get whatever is in my eye out of it. I think it is gone, but I'm not sure. Never a dull moment. Um, we just finished the walk, ran into Trader Joe's to pick up a few things, but um, yeah. Oi, 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 oi. And I forgot my wallet, so now I'm gonna hop on Venmo and send Steven money for the groceries because most of the stuff was mine that we picked. We are back. My eye still feels funny, but we'll survive. Um, I also picked up these flowers at um, Trader Joe's, these like really pretty green hydrangeas, and those white flowers there because these wild flowers I picked from our backyard are. A dying mess and they've also left a mess everywhere so I have to clean that up as well so we need to get some fresh flowers in this vase I've been really really making the effort to keep fresh flowers every single week right there on the coffee table just because once again like I talked about on the hike like it's like these simple little things that make such a huge difference All right, gang, so I promised to sit down and kind of tell you where I've been over the last two weeks. I think it's been two weeks since I posted a video. Um, and uh, honestly, I've just been like recharging and resting. This channel started in December, so it's about eight months since I started. And I have posted 101 videos. So that comes out to about 13 videos a month. That's three a week. Um, and it's a lot of work. Uh, each video probably takes five to six hours, unless that one huge planning review video took hours upon hours. Um, so it, it is a lot of work when you work full time over 50 hours a week in your real life job. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just needed a second to recharge. And then also if you follow me in the kindness community on Facebook or over on Instagram, you also know that, um, two weeks ago was the one year anniversary of my grandmother. So I just wanted to be there for my family. And also, you know, that I had been traveling for work and Steven was gone a week. So like we were like two ships passing in the night. We needed time to reconnect and talk. So I just needed a little break. I also got hit with the summer flu this year. Um, so, yeah, I just needed some time off, but I'm back, and I'm excited and super, super motivated to bring new content. I literally, over the last two weeks, although I've not been filming, I have been brainstorming and brain dumping a ton of ideas, and I probably have enough content planned for the next six months, um, and some things that are really creative. I've also had two brands reach out to me that I already adore and I'm in talks with figuring out um, what we can do together um, which I'm really excited to share with you um, and I will only do something if I can kick something back to you guys. Um, work has been crazy. I probably have been working between 12 to 14 hours every single day. Um, so yeah, you just need time to like reprioritize, re-energize, 
reorganize and kind of get things together. But by no means was I slacking or like laying on the couch, like chilling. Um, I've been still keeping up on all my workouts, barely missing a day. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm down 38 pounds, um, probably since Memorial Day, about, I don't know, maybe a little before that. Um, but I'm feeling really, really good. That is what has been happening. All is well. I am so happy to be back. Steven is up taking a nap. It is like right about noon. Um, we are going to um, eat some lunch here and then head out to do some shopping so I can get some new clothes and some new shoes. But um, I wanted to share, let's see how this adjusts to the light. Let me hit the light switch. Um, but I wanted to share a couple things with all of you. Oop. I cannot find <laughs> You would think I know which light switch is which, but um, a couple things that some of you have sent me and I just got to share them with you because I am loving them immensely. So let me, uh, this is a real close up on my face. I apologize. So um, I don't, I have everything written down of who sent what, but I don't have that with me right now. I want to say one of these came from Pam. Oh, I can't remember the other name. Anyway, I keep all my cards organized, and then I also write, like, if someone sent a gift. But I want to share a couple things. This was sent from one of you. It is called Pinky Up Cinnamon Bun Tea. It is the best tea. I love cinnamon tea. Um... I love it. You need to add nothing to this tea because it is delicious. Um, I also got these um, Tea Pigs Upbeat Vitality Tea. I haven't tried this yet, but um, I was thinking of taking them to work this week to give them a try. Then someone also sent me these Union Jack Black Teas. I've only tried one of them. I think they're the same though. No, one is Afternoon, one is Captain Jack. I've tried the Afternoon Delight Tea. It is delicious. Once again, I had nothing to it. I even iced this once, and it was really good. So I also want to share this out. This is from Lorna. Uh, she is in London. She is one of the most chic people. Like, her Instagram posts are stunning. She also has the cutest dog ever, and she's just a lovely, lovely person. But she sent me this beautiful box. Um with these hummingbird bookmarks that are wood. Let me see if I can get them to autofocus. There's like so much going on. Um, and the ribbon says Lorna Jane on them. I love them so much. Then she sent me this really beautiful card. I'm going to keep it to myself, but um, it is just incredible. She's amazing, and I love it. And she got me, from Papier, this beautiful custom Christopher Allen Creative Notes notebook. And then these, which made me weep because they're just so beautiful. This set of stationery cards and envelopes that have Christopher Allen with a little book in the corner. Ugh. I don't want to use them, but I want to use all of them at the same time. No one should ever send me anything except a handwritten card because I love them. And I save every single one. And when my office gets done in the basement, I'm going to be putting them all up. I have a really creative idea with every card that has been sent. But um, just your thoughtful and kindness that you spread to me is just overwhelming. And I appreciate it. And just know that I keep every single thing. And um, when my office is up, which will be soon, hopefully they're supposed to start construction at the end of August. This basement has been a shenanigans to get done. Um, everything will be displayed, and I'm super excited about it. Um, all right, so those are some things from my P.O. Box. I am going to talk you through really quickly what I've been doing because I have lost a lot of weight. And I have found a system that is really working for me, and it is requiring no prep. Um, to take to work with me and I love it. So I'm gonna hop over to the mud room, which is right now a mess. So for work, A, I cannot stop using my Burberry rucksack. I have all those bags for work. I just keep going back to this one. 
Um, I have been keeping my office stocked with Go Go Squeeze apple cinnamon applesauce on the goes. I just love them. Saltine crackers, and then all I have been eating at work is soup. It is super simple. It keeps, and it's just an easy go-to. I just picked up this cute silverware at Target, um, so I can have like real silverware. It was super cheap, it's like $2 a piece. And they've also kept, keep a package of Crave beef jerky. But the soups that I have been loving are from Pacific, and it's at Target. It's organic. I got a tomato basil and a red pepper soup. I keep these in the fridge in my office, and one will last me almost about three days. Um, once I open it, I just put it in the fridge. And then I also have been buying these smaller portioned ones. So this is the chicken noodle, um, chicken and wild rice, and then lastly, this vegetable and lentil. I have been just taking soup and eating it at lunch time, and it has really been working for me, and I love it. It is super filling, and yeah, I just love how easy it is besides like prepping and containers and everything. I just keep really cute bowls that I picked up at Target in my office, throw in the soup, heat it up, and eat it. And I am filled up for the day. And yeah, it's what I've been doing lately because I've just been so incredibly busy. And it just makes life a little bit easier. Also, I only have two more packs of vitamins from my first month. And I got a new box of Care of Vitamins. They've decided to continue to work with me. They're sending me two more free months of vitamins. They also still have the Christopher 50 um, uh, discount code. I will keep it linked down below where you get 50% off. You will get your vitamins dirt cheap. I actually upped my vitamins this month to five vitamins, but care of is just getting cuter and cuter and cuter because now they send you a plain box and then sets of stickers to decorate. I haven't decorated this one yet um, because I still have two packs left in this one to go through. But yeah, I can't wait to decorate my new box and start them on, I have one, two, so it's Monday, Tuesday. I will start my new box on Wednesday. And I only missed one day of my vitamins and that was because I was traveling and I miscounted uh, the number that I needed. But, uh, yeah, I love them. I feel really good. It's just good to have like vitamins that are tailored made for you. The lighting is terrible right now. It is just good to have vitamins that are tailor made for you. Like I said um, in previous videos, you take an online quiz and then they customize your vitamin packs for you and they're so cute. They'll even say your name on them. I'll leave um, uh, a couple videos where I talk about them in a lot of detail. And then I'm also gonna do like a big monthly video around care of vitamins because I love them so much. All right, friends, I am going to close out this vlog, but before I go, I wanna share a couple things that I am loving. Now, these probably won't make August favorites, but they are things that I've been really enjoying this month, and I just wanna share them with you either way. So the first thing I wanna share with you is a set of bracelets. The first thing I wanna share with you are some bracelets that I picked up. Um, they're from my awesome YouTube friend, Haley K. Rowe. Um, she has a whole platform called May Movement, and um, it's about empowerment and inspiration and making the most of your life and um, achieving a lot of your goals. And one thing she does is she has paired with Aid Through Trade, which um, is artisan goods made by women, which allows them for equal pay and benefits. And one thing she offers are these awesome roll-on bracelets. So I'm wearing the black one right now. Um, and I also got like this gunmetal silver. Um, they're made in Nepal, all handmade. And they are just so awesome. And you just roll them on. They're super comfortable. I've been wearing one of them nonstop at all times. Um, but A, you should check out Haley's YouTube channel then check out the May Movement. I will leave everything linked down below. She's just simply awesome, and I love them. Yeah, this black one is the one I've been wearing the most. I, like, never take it off. I love it so much. The next thing that I've been loving are two books. Um, one was Too Fat, Too Slutty, Too Loud, um, The Rise and Reign of Unruly Women. It's by uh, a contributor on BuzzFeed, the culture writer. 
and it goes through um, multiple women in our society, for example, Serena Williams, and it just talks about like what they are too much of. Um, and it was a really awesome read, super fast. I read it um, on my last work trip to New York City and I really, really loved it. The next book is Caroline. Um, it's Little House Revisited. If you are a Little House fan, um, if you love like Little House in the Big Woods and Little House on the Prairie, if you love those series as a kid, this is a great, great book. Sadly, it doesn't come out until September 17th. I got an advanced reader's edition. Um, I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. My only regret is I wish I would have saved it for like the fall when it was getting colder because it just, yeah, it just feels homey and it feels like a good fall read by a fireplace. Um, but uh, when this comes out on September 17th, you should definitely get it. It's excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, I was nervous about reading it because I love Little House so much, but it's really good. And then lastly, I need to share what I've been loving so much. Um, I've been using this a lot for work. Um, it fits in my Louis Vuitton desk agenda. I took it out just for now to show you. But it is the ARC system um, from Staples. And Martha Stewart also has a version of the ARC system. I don't know if they're in collaboration with each other, but this is the Martha Stewart rings. But everything else is from ARC. Um, and I just love it. I love that you can customize the amount of dividers you want. Um, there's like calendar inserts you could get, but my start planner houses all of that stuff. Um, I just divide this up into sections of things I want to take notes for, um, and I really, really like it. Um, my tabs are from Martha Stewart. They're really fun colors. Um, but yeah, I've been really, really enjoying this. It fits in my desk agenda, and yeah, I've been using this as my notebook. It's kind of replaced my graphic image. It just gives me a little bit more flexibility to do what I want with it. So I'm going to get off here and, uh, I'm gonna crash and watch the VMAs tonight. And if you're watching, uh, follow me over on Instagram and I will watch live with you. Um, and maybe Instagram story some of my thoughts around it. But um, I'll catch up with you soon. And I will leave this vlog like I leave all my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends.